So before I even start talking about um, the subject of today's newsletter, I wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you for clicking on this link. Uh, that tells me that you're a very smart person and you care about your health to start. Today we have a very special guest in our little film and it's called the Vegas Nerve, right here. And uh, I wrote the name on the board because uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can Google it and you will find tons of information about it. But um, the reason I'm very fascinated with this nerve um, is because it's one of the longest, there's, there's 10 uh, nerves that go from the brain throughout the body and uh, number 10 will be vagus nerve and this nerve goes, uh, is the longest of the cranial uh, nerves and it runs all the way from the pituitary gland to the colon and the reason I'm talking about this or the reason like you should care about this nerve is because it's related to breathing is related to a lot of parasympathetic uh, functions which means that it controls a lot of the emergency situations it has to do a lot with stress it's a nerve that has a lot to do with depression but the most important for everybody is a nerve that has a lot to do with yes fat burn and I'm gonna explain how this nerve works and it's very simple and it has a lot to do with breathing so in your next workout or when you work out you want to be very aware first of all that our two lungs are not the same we're going to have three sections on the right side of the lung and two sections or lobes on the left side and this is because mainly of the heart it's a little smaller on the left and bigger on the right and this nerve the vagus nerve runs all the way to our head to our face to our throat mainly to our chest and all the way to our intestines and down to the colon. So, mainly people in uh, cities or in a stressful lifestyle will tend to breathe high in the lungs. And normally the connection, the nerve endings at the top of the lungs have a emergency response functions, which means that if you're, let's say, working out and you're like pushing really hard, freaking out, like going crazy. Normally what's happened that your brain doesn't understand either if you're working out or you're running away from a bear or running away from a lion. It doesn't, like your body couldn't care less. Your body only responds to the way you're breathing and the way you're using your body. So if your body reads that you're in an emergency situation, it's going to produce chemicals that are stress chemicals, that are adrenaline related chemicals, that are like aging chemicals, and also chemicals that are going to make and force your body to store fat. They're going to tell your body to burn all the sugar available in the bloodstream because you need immediate access to energy so you can do your freak out workout or you can just run away for your life, either or. This is the reason why after a really intense workout, the first thing you're craving is carbs and uh, like food that has a lot of sugar in it because you just depleted yourself from all the sugar in your bloodstream. On the other hand, the vagus nerve, because it goes all the way to the bottom of your lungs, the receptors are placed at the bottom of the lungs. And there's a reason for this. Mainly one of the reasons is this is where the main amount or the biggest amount of blood is located mainly because your digestive system is down here as well. So you have more access to blood at the bottom of the lungs. The biggest nerve is at the very very bottom. So when you take deep inhales and let's say you're working out and you're making an extra effort to deep and take deep inhales and go very deep into your lungs, this vagus nerve is, is going to produce anti-stress chemicals, anti-depression chemicals, and it's going to tell your brain, hey, listen, this guy is not in an emergency mode anymore. This person is relaxed. This person is breathing. So why don't we allow this person to burn some fat to start? So vagus nerve is going to produce chemicals that allow you to go into your storage areas in your body and pull that stored energy out. So when you work out, uh, you last longer, you have more energy. This is what we call being in the zone. If you run, if you, I don't know, for example, I rock climb, when you have access to these 
uh, energy source because you're breathing calm, you're focusing on your breathing, is when you feel like you have unlimited strength. You can run for miles and miles, you can swim for miles and miles, you can just do whatever for a long period of time because you're relaxed. So this should matter to you because if you're working out, more than paying attention to how much weight you're lifting, to how long you're running, you should be paying attention to how your breathing pattern is happening and you want to be always in a relaxed state. So I hope this information is useful to you and next time you work out, remember, it's better to get away from here and feel your oxygen going all the way down. So you want to inhale and exhale for a longer period of time. So whatever your sport is, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the quality of your breathing more than the quality of the workout. In combination, a good workout with a good breathing pattern is going to burn a lot more fat than your regular workout. So if you're trying to lose some weight, obviously diet is going to come first. Obviously, a good lifestyle that supports that diet is going to be very beneficial. And if on top of that you add the right workout and the right breathing, you will definitely be successful. So thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful, beautiful day.